there's always food. And there's a reason for that, all right? That, that the connection of sharing our food with someone, number one, when we eat, it's a relaxing time. Maybe not for us here in the United States, we tend to eat on the go. But to best digest, not being in that rush, not being in that fight or flight position with our body and creating that stress is how we're going to get the most out of our food. One of the ways that we do that is by spending time with other human beings. And so the social aspect of that is where I came up from with this rule. So that we get rid of the guilt that we tend to put on ourselves. And we call it cheating. I cheated today. I went to a birthday party and I had a piece of cake. You didn't cheat, okay? <laughs> you did not cheat. What you did was you indulged in a social experience that involved food. And that does not always include foods that are on the approved, absolutely healthy for you, best I can do, have to do it all the time, food Nazi regimen, okay? So please do not become a food Nazi, all right?